dear student today we will learn chapter number 3 indices and cube roots practice at 3.1 if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe it today itself let's start let's recall about indices the product 3 into 3 can be expressed as 3 raised to 2 you can see that just above 3 there is a number 2 so here 2 represent that how many times 3 is there in the product form it is there two times that's why it is 3 raised to 2 the product 3 into 3 into 3 can be expressed as 3 raised to 3 the product 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 can be expressed as 3 raised to 4 and the product 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 can be expressed as 3 raised to 5 the product 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 can be expressed as 5 raised to 4 you can see that 5 is 4 times in the multiplications that's why you can see that there is a 4 just above the 5 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 is known as product form whereas 5 raised to 4 is known as index form of 5 into 5 into 5 into 5 here 5 is known as base of the index form and 4 is known as index or power of the given index form let us see the meaning of indices in the form of rational numbers such as 1 upon 2 1 upon 3 1 upon 4 1 upon 5 and so on that is 1 upon n so here these are the rational numbers and now we will see that index form where the power is rational number the square root of a number means the index is written as 1 upon 2 so what do you mean by the square root of a number the number will have index as 1 upon 2 the fourth root of a number means the index is written as 1 upon 4 you can see that the numerator is same when the denominators are keep on changing as per the given root for example square root of 5 can be written as 5 raised to 1 upon 2 or it can also be written as root 5 you can see that there is one sign inside the sign there is a 5 and the sign is represent radical sign fourth root of 5 can also be written as 5 raised to 1 upon 4 or it can also be written as cube root of 5 this sign you can see there is some symbol this is a radical sign now we will see practice at 3.1 here we have main question 1 express the following numbers in index form Here we have the first sum, fifth root of thirteen. You can see it is given root, right? That means the index of number thirteen is a fraction, is a rational number. Okay. So what you can see there, fifth root. That means the denominator of that fraction would be five, whereas the numerator will remain same. That is one. So we we can we can write this in index form like thirteen raised to one upon five. Okay, so numerator will remains one, while denominator will keep on changing. Sixth root of nine, see it is given sixth. That that means the denominator of the fraction would be six, whereas the numerator will be one. Therefore, the answer is nine raised to one upon six. Square root of two fifty six. Square means second root. 
of the given number okay that means here the denominator of the fraction should be 2 and the numerator should be 1 therefore 256 raised to 1 upon 2 cube root of 17 cube means third root third root of 17 that means denominator should be 3 and numerator should be 1 numerator will remain same that is 1 only denominator will keep on changing so we will write this as 17 raised to 1 upon 3 8th root of 100 which we can write as 100 raised to 1 upon 8 7th root of 30 we can write this 30 raised to 1 upon 7 we have now question number 2 write in the form of nth root of a in each of the following numbers here we have the first index form and this index form we will write as nth root of the given number so what is the denominator of this fraction it's 4 so it is 4th root of 81 now here we have the next question it is also it is an index form of the next question look at the denominator of the given fraction it's a 2 so you can say it is second root of 49 or you can also say it is a square root of 49 now here we have the next question look at the denominator of the fraction what it is 5 so it is fifth root of 15 look at the next question what is the power of this 1 upon 4 what is then a denominator denominator is 4 so it is fourth root of 512 now here we have the next question look at the denominator of this fraction what it is 19 so it is 19th root of 100 now here the index is 1 upon 7 so what is denominator over here 7 so it is 7th root of 6.